Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, it's the only thing that impacted me. Um, surgery, um, emergency impacted me. Sur surgery had his appendix removed. Um, so the Virgil Ortiz fight, it was agreed for him and Virgil to fight for his regular belt March 18th. Um, I think it did reach the purse. I think it did, you know, somebody did win the purse bid, I believe. And I think uh, Stayonis was getting 75% of the purse. It's, and Virgil Ortiz is getting 25%. That just lets you know how much they really like that matchup. Um, so yeah, it was an emergency, he had his appendix moved, so they said the fight could be moved back to April even further, maybe even further back. Dan Rayfield broke the news a little known fact. A lot of people didn't even know that uh, this had happened. It happened a few days ago. I think it was Friday, that's Friday or whatever. So um, I mean, it is, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not gonna say they trying to fake it. Uh, fake it. I don't know if he got hit in his throat or whatever, or whatever the situation may be. Um, but in boxing, that's the, the dark side of boxing is some people will fake injuries, fake medical reports to, you know, to buy time for not being on weight or drag their feet on making particular fights. But regardless, I mean, he could have just dropped a regular belt. Um, I know a lot of people feel like he got a raw deal, but the reason that Earl Spence didn't, you know, he didn't, Earl Spence didn't feel like he had to fight him. They didn't, they didn't make the Spence fight because his name wasn't big enough to put him on pay-per-view on Spence. Remember, Spence was supposed to go fight Sean Porter on regular Fox the last uh, Sunday before fo uh, football came on a couple years ago. And Errol Spence got bitching and complaining about why his fight was on regular TV, on social media. And they just don't understand it, dude. Like, you know, sometimes you gotta take a few steps back to go like 10 or 20 steps forward. So you understand these fighters don't understand the business of boxing or how to grow their platform because when they not fight, you're not hearing nothing from them unless they show up to a fight. They don't know how to market. They don't know how to grow a brand. Um, and I ain't saying I'm perfect at it neither. But they, they don't know how to do none of that. You know? They lazy when it comes to promoting themselves. They lazy when it comes to pushing merch. They lazy when it, when it, you know? And they just ignorant to knowing how to grow a platform. You can't grow on Showtime and be a superstar. You can't grow on pay-per-view and be a superstar, dog. That's impossible. Because once I find out I can stream it for free, why the fuck would I pay for it, bro? We supposed to be brothers. So that's one of the reasons why they didn't do the stay on this fight. He was explaining to me that his name just wasn't big enough to throw him on pay-per-view. Ugas had been in there with Sean Porter and you know they had did some things with Ugas with Manny Pacquiao, which made them feel a little bit more comfortable with the pay-per-view. Even though Stay is probably a more exciting fighter if, if it had to be my, you know, if I had to, you know, I had to say myself. But you know, hopefully first and foremost, he able to get better physically and you know, able to get back to feeding his family. That's what you hope for, you know, he able to bounce back. But right now, you know, his appendix had to be removed uh, for whatever reason it was. Was it a training ex uh, ex uh, accident? There's a number of reasons for that to happen. I heard an article say maybe he got hit in his throat. I don't know pretty much too much about the appendix or nothing like that. So that, that's that's pretty much up to him to figure out um, what the recovery time would be and when, you know, training, where his weight at, where his conditioning at, where he feeling at. He feel 100%. So, um, another fight in the first half, of, uh, you know, for PBC, which I think might, I think Golden Boy won that. I could be wrong. Maybe Golden Boy won. I can't remember. That's getting pushed back. So, you know, maybe April, maybe a little bit later than that. So, you know, how convenient. This is like a number of their fighters' fights getting pushed back. And it's, it, it seemed a little spooky at this because these guys don't fight too often. I forgot him and Raz have a two head. Then they fight on the Spence Blue Guys pay per view. So, so it's funny how these fights getting pushed back. You had the male fight getting pushed back. You got the Spence Thurman fight allegedly got pushed back. I'm not saying allegedly because it's supposed to be Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Now you got Stionis getting pushed back. I mean, you had a number of fights getting pushed back. So Tank Davis fight almost got pushed back. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's getting pretty spooky about what's getting pushed back. It's getting real spooky. It's getting real spooky. A lot of people, you know, didn't like the Hector Luis Garcia stoppage the other night or whatever. But like I said, the, the, the PBC be having them funny ass stoppages. Colazzo and Thurman, Peter Quillen and Gabriel Rosado, they have they have a number of, of fishy ass stoppages. But I mean, Virgil Ortiz is gonna have to continue to wait. And one thing about Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis, they busting at the seams. They busting at the seams, you know, trying to make that weight. They young, but you gotta understand, you still putting stress on that body. And if you if you really making you really straining to make that weight, 
that's going to that's going to that's going to knock years off your career shit that's going to knock years off your life to be honest that's going to knock years off your life so a lot of people be you know be you know feel like they feel like they got to make the weight or um or whatever the situation may be you know just to stay at the weight class to get a belt and sometimes it sometimes it it, it ain't that it ain't that deep Sometimes it really ain't that deep, but now Virgil will have to continue to wait for his shot to uh, for his title shot. And then how long you have to wait as a regular champion? Some divisions they consolidate in the regular belt fast. Other divisions they letting it hang around. It depends on on the fighter. And if it's somebody like Tank Davis who brings some money or Earl Spence, he's probably gonna be waiting as a regular champion. But it's nothing that burn my gears more how they be trying to, you know, uh, dub the regular champion as a real world champion. How did they try to count Triple G title defenses, you know, towards Hopkins, you know, uh, middleweight defense record. No, you can't do that. That's why his ass lost. It's not a real title. No matter how much Dan Rayfield and all of them tried to say it was a real, um, real title, it wasn't. So at the end of the day, it was an anticipated fight. I think most people thought Virgil was going to win. I didn't get stay on as much of a chance. I thought he did get a raw deal. You know, I thought he did deserve his crack. You know, he got, you know, he got finessed out of a title shot versus Ugas. He got finessed out of an Earl Spence shot. Now he got to fight Virgil Ortiz. And everybody talk about how Bud Crawford this and Bud Crawford that, but ain't none of them young boys getting into that 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 lane to go line up versus Terrence Crawford. That's, that's what we can say. They already know they 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 got a lot to learn. And the fans get behind these dudes. And, you know, Virgil Ortiz is a tremendous talent. And I still think Jerron Ennis is a tremendous talent, but it's experience. It's like anything else, you know, playing basketball, you know, being with women, whatever it may be. There, there's an experience factor that go with it. The more, a lot of times for people, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Some people don't get better. Sometimes, you know, it's just you, you just can't be good at it. You know, maybe basketball ain't your thing. Maybe relationships ain't your thing. You know, maybe, you know, bowling ain't your thing. Sometimes them type of people got to work a lot harder and be a lot more diligent and more detailed um, at doing that. So who knows? Who knows, honestly? But, um, but yeah, you going to have to wait. But, yes, yeah, so we, you know, but them, you know, they still develop, but they need to stay on this fights. They need... They need those type of fights. They need the, the McKissons. They need the uh, 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 Karen Trucker Jam fights. They, they need those fights, bro. You just don't get good by, by staying in the gym, sparring, sparring, sparring. You know, that's cool. But you got to fight to continue to level up and get better. You got to be in live action. So, you know, we know this Virgil Ortiz and Jerome Boots and this thing going to turn ugly at some point. With Hispanics and Virgil Ortiz fans and blacks and Jerron and his fans, it's gonna turn ugly. It's just tied up, tied ugly. You just hope they make it in in a, in a timely manner where they can fight and we can we can move on. Cause this Errol Spencer Terrence Crawford thing, dividing the black box community up, it's just it, it, we seen you anybody that that was around for Pacquiao made well, you seen how ugly this was getting, and um, you know we should have been had a resolution, but we didn't. We don't so, um. But yeah, you know, so we got to wait. They talking about maybe April. There's a lot going on in April, though. I mean, Spence Henning, he coming back in April. Maybe he lying. Maybe that bad for May. Tank could be kind of fighting Ryan in April. So then you look at May, Canelo in May, in May uh, Devin Haney, Lomachenko possibly in May. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a lot that could be going on and happening. But, you know, for stay on this, you hopefully he get good and better. And, you know, Virgil Ortiz, you know, you got to find a way to, you know, find a date. You know, do you take a break from training, you know, um, enjoy yourself, rest, and then get back to training? Um, because that was what? That's about, you know, three, about three months out, and about two, three months out, two months and some change. So, so yeah, you got to get a date and see where you're at. And I know he's frustrated. He want to get a, you know, a regular belt and get ready to fight Spence. And I think Spence would vacate the regular belt if I was a betting man. Um, so, yeah, I think Spence would probably vacate that regular belt. But, you know, that's that's pretty much up to them to figure out what they're going to do. Um, most people said they could have had a Crawford fight, but you don't know the the, the, the particulars. Nobody knows. Josh Taylor might jump up, move up, and challenge Terrence Crawford. Who knows? If he get past Jack Catterall, him and Jack Catterall see, uh, is, is taking legal action versus the BBFC over there, the British Board of Boxing of Control or something like that. Something about uh, discrimination or something. I just seen the headline uh, this morning. Um, so... 
like I said before, we gotta wait and see. But uh, but yeah, you know that fight getting pushed back, and a lot of fights getting pushed back. But you know it's that season, uh, especially for for colds and you know COVID and all that type of stuff. And um, I've been under the weather, still brought my ass into work today. But uh, yeah, it's that season, bro. So uh, make sure y'all you know wash your hands. Be so many people I see at the gym, I'm not gonna go in particular. But they don't they wash that want they don't wash their hands. I mean, that's why I wipe my machines down. You gotta get back to wearing a mask or keeping your distance or whatever. But yeah, um, yeah, that fight getting pushed back. And unfortunate uh for the fans that Virgil Ortiz just been in a situation where his fights is constantly keep 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 getting pushed back and it look like he busting at the seams to continue to make the weight. And if I'm staying honest, I'm going to his body. <laughs> if I'm any if I'm fighting Duran and staying honest, the Euro Spence, these bigger what to waste that need to be moving up. I'm going to their body. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pocket, Google Podcasts, the whole nine, hit the link tree. All my uh, links inside there is the first link in the description. Don't forget to check out my Detroit channel right here on YouTube. Marcy Sports Talk, more sports news, news, entertainment. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.